It's a, a free, free with PlayStation Plus game. That's a little disappointing that they want to give me uh, these maybe Unity games, but you never know, it could still be good. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that <coughs> this game is um, meant to be used with a typewriter, um, even though I don't have one. With a keyboard, I should say. Like, I'm hoping it's a typing game. Which would mean I can't play it right now, but um, I thought I'd just have a look at it and confirm that it is what I think it is. Plug in digital. They're good, right? I think they're good. One, tutorial. Use the left stick to move. There we go. I'm using the left stick to move. Woo! We're going backwards. Plug in digital. Co produced by Audio Gaming, Natural Born Interactive. The production of Ex Nihilo. RT presents. I'm going the wrong way. And I seem to have hit a wall. Let's go this way instead. Um, yeah, my roommate's blasting music in the next room. Guess I should turn my own volume up. Um, where's the TV remote? There it is. Okay, and we're moving. I can jump with X. Use option button to view the unlocked content. Origins. Yeah, you unlock the first page of history of typography. Um, press X to continue. In prehistoric times, long before the intervention of writing, humans left traces of their existence in the caves where they resided. The Chauvet Cave, discovered in 1994 in southeast of France, is one of the oldest adorned caves in the world and contains many inscriptions carried out between 32,000 and 30,000 BC. Most of them are representations of animals, but there are also hybrid animal man creatures and hybrid hand and human hands. The different representations overlap in a space that seems indifferent to, to the depth as the contours of the images intertwine constantly. These prehistoric artists were skilled in several techniques. Rock engraving, probably using a hand or carved stone, and painting. The paint comes from the crushed, cr crushed crushing stones to produce a colored powder that was then applied by hand were blown onto cave walls in almost all cases, but especially in Africa and Europe. The paintings are related to ritual practices such as the magic of hunting, fertility or protection against enemies. Painted caves have long been regarded as a sanctuary where prehistoric man painted his visions of the world. It is estimated today that the pictorial representations depict a whole cultural socio, socio system, which includes both inhabited places as well as hunting territories. Alright, we read something. Um, I don't hate this, especially for making a let's play. Interestingly, I'm controlling two balls. I wonder if it's two players and I could let another different player control the other ball. Okay, number two is jump, which I already figured out how to do. Use the jump button, X. I wanna see if I can leave one of them behind. Hmm. 
It seems like they have some kind of magnetic attachment. So I can't have one ball leave the other ball. Yeah, see? Oh no! Balls! I'm so clever. Alright, so... We didn't have to read anything that time. Um, there is more reading. I'll have to save the video clip, I think. I guess I should jump. So, are we trapped? Stuck? Push the retry button. Kind of. And now, we get to retry uh, as if before the thing. Rotation. We made it to number three. Use L2 and R2 to control your balance. Whoa. Am I getting pushed up? Yeah, I am. So, okay, I figured out rotation now. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Works about how you'd expect. Okay, and R2 is causing us to rotate and be able to climb. Stay alert. We have more Egyptian hieroglyphics. Save video clip. 